Good morning. This is Phil Holmes reporting for the Williamsport Sun Gazette. About two miles north of Trout Run, on Route 15, where a tractor trailer with an excavator on it crashed Thursday about 3.30. Another motorist pulled out of a uh, road, four-mile road, we're told, or road up here, pulled out and collided with this tractor trailer. The trucker lost the steering and came down 150 foot embankment and crashed. The uh, trucker, we understand, uh, self-extricated from the uh, wreckage and was not harmed. This morning, shortly after 9 o'clock, Bressler's garage arrived on the scene and they're going to uh, begin uh, lifting this fairly soon. This is an extensive recovery operation, going to be here for probably several hours. We're going to speak briefly with Bob Bressler. He's the owner of the garage. Thank you very much, sir, for speaking to me. No problem. What's the biggest challenge in something like this, sir? Well, just keeping everything intact and not creating any more issues with uh, fluid spills or causing any more damage to the property down there and then getting the rest of everything up here safely without anybody getting injured. Tell me uh, what kind of equipment you have here. I see you have four four wreckers. Uh, yeah, we have four wreckers here. Uh, we have three 45 tons stick boom wreckers and one 65 ton rotator. And how will they be used? Well, we have uh, Wreckmaster certified operators here. We're going to coordinate with PennDOT and the Pennsylvania State Police to block the highway and we will run winch lines down to it as many lines as we can to stabilize it and control it. And what do you call it sir? Lynch? Winch. Winch. Winch lines. Okay and that is again to stabilize the vehicle. Well and then pull it back toward the highway. Okay now earlier uh, I understand from right inside this truck here this major accident responding you have uh, tanks is that right? And you used uh, hoses, you went down there and offloaded. Well, we pumped the fuel, what remaining fuel out of the fuel tank so that, it, you know, there's boulders and rocks down there if we don't want to puncture the tank, bringing it up and have more fuel spill. So we, what fuel was remaining in the tanks, we pumped out and put in here to, to uh, leave the scene with safely. Uh, how much uh, can you hold in your tank, sir? Uh, well, thanks that we have in there, we can put about 350 gallon in. Okay, and you just, what you did is you stretched hoses down there and uh, off, offloaded anywhere from 60 to 70 gallons? Uh, approximately. Uh, you've been down there uh, and one of the saddle tanks was torn, is that correct? That's what I understand, one saddle tank was torn. And, and uh, apparently there was no place for her. that's diesel fuel to go except into the stream there right. and along the bank. DEP, I guess, is on the scene. Yeah, DEP's here, and an environmental company, and we have, uh, they have placed booms in the water, and they're surveying the surrounding property down there to see how bad things are and what needs to be done to remediate the scene. It's just before noon, and what we're waiting for now is what? We're waiting for a company to... Uh... The company that's down in there, uh, they're bringing a crane and we're waiting for the crane to get here. We're hoping it arrives soon. And it was a tractor trailer with an ex uh, with a um, low boy, uh, an, uh, a low boy, is that right? And yeah, that's a truck tractor, winch truck, pulling a low boy with a track hoe excavator on it. And uh, what they want to do is bring a uh, bring something to lift the excavator up first. Is that right? Yep. They want to offload the excavator and lift it out of there. First, quite a bit of damage, and we're pretty much interested in safety here. So, sure. all right, thanks, sir. That's Bob Bressler. He's the owner of Bressler's Garage. Going to be here. Uh, what would you say? Probably at least a good part of the afternoon. Yeah, we'll be here a while. They'll be here for a while at this recovery scene. Uh, fortunately, there were no injuries. Again, we're on Route 15. Today's Friday.
This is recovery of a crash that occurred yesterday afternoon, um, Thursday, about 3.15, on Route 15 in the uh, northbound lanes, just about two miles north of Trout Run. Phil Holmes reporting for the Williamsport Sun Gazette.